we have got to invest more in the schools. It's embarrassing. It is embarrassing where we are in terms of the rest of the country. A statewide push tonight to close the education achievement gap among African American students. Research shows African American students consistently score below the state average in English and math. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Adrienne Moore. CBS 13's Angela Musalam is live at the Capitol for us tonight with how state lawmakers and the Legislative Black Caucus are working to change all of that. Angela. And the high school graduation rate statewide is at 83%. And the biggest improvements have been seen with African American, Latino, and English language learning students. But state officials say not enough is being done before these students begin school. School's not crazy. School's not crazy. Sacramento students fighting for more school funding to give African Americans a fair shot at education. I saw students who are in the same grade as me, fifth grade, still reading at a kindergarten, first grade level, or illiterate at all. Nyla Dubose recalls her experience in elementary school where she says the majority of students were African American and came from disadvantaged backgrounds. Sometimes being a young black teenager in America, it could feel like everybody's against you. Dubose now attends Fortune Early College High School in Sacramento, founded by a Sacramento native dedicated to closing the achievement gap between African American students and their peers. According to the State Office of Education, African American students are the lowest performing group, only surpassing students with special needs. But the achievement gap starts even before kindergarten, so preschool and early education programs are critical. State Assemblyman Tony Thurmond is one of several lawmakers pushing initiatives to close that gap, including a bill which would tax private prisons to fund preschool and after-school programs. Thurmond says the state has already invested about half a billion dollars for early education resources. Kids who are in preschool are more likely to graduate and less likely to end up in the criminal justice system. Thurmond is also asking Governor Jerry Brown to renew the career technical education program and double its funding to $500 million. They learn about career pathways. They learn about what they want to be. A generations long issue with no quick fix. A handful of local and state leaders ready to turn a new page and bring change. We're not only raising kids that are able to compete academically, but we're also raising leaders. And state officials are also offering two and a half million dollars in grants to schools which can create specific programs to help African American students and other minority groups. Angela Musalam live for us tonight at the state capitol. Thanks.